Okay. All right, Alan? Yeah, this is something we theorycrafted a lot. Support Zeus. The damage mana efficiency is crazy. You can use this guy in lane and keep that constant pressure on. I like that she's drafted a lot. They're going to have vision all these fights. Yeah, and I think I'll go with the safe bet with Witchy Gaming as well. However, if uh, Dandy has a good game, I think they could win. Okay. Uh, it seems our panel never learn. You've heard about the curse. Never go for this. He's, he's very good. Of the hero undergarments, but alas, it looks like we may be ready to get in to game number one. Elimination of Navi versus Vici Gaming. Um, I like the control on the Navi draft. Obviously right. being a little bit facetious, uh, Vici Gaming heavy favorites in general. Very chaotic heroes. And I think Navi, at least historically, has shined within the chaos trend. Oh, I kind of no feel way. like at the same Just time, you're right. expecting this underdog team to be the one that maybe goes a little bit out there. Maybe picks some stuff you weren't necessarily expecting, but I would kind of hand that over to the Vici draft, really, in just a couple of the ways these heroes are being ran and everything. The support Zeus, the, this Tricor specifically is a little out there, I think, whereas Navi, it's just kind of like you got your Brewmaster, you got your, your uh, Luna, and you got... Yeah, I mean, it's just the same idea, right? It's, it's not all too different to the Lexrax and to the Skyrath Mages and Paparazzi. Starts getting the hate on here. Yeah. It has six charges, though, on its stick, so not a big problem. But, um, yeah, it's just like you spend your whole mana pool, you spam out some spells. Oh, you are a support in 2018. And, like, that's pretty much what most of these heroes are doing. And uh, some, uh, maybe... Oh, yes. oh, oh. And Ulrich steps his bounce here. He doesn't get hit by a few times, but he can't quite get that last Jingu. Wow. Now the stun, it actually finds it. Lana will blast him down, and the first blood is indeed drawn by VG Gaming. Yeah. Nice, much needed. That ward really helping there. Just to kind of ensure, you know, you can go for the full chase and everything. Valor tried to save him there with the stun, but yeah. it's uh, nice early secure for them. Okay, well, that helps out the Monkey King. He's definitely off to a little bit of a slow start. And right away, Valor is hanging in the trees. General connects with the Thunderclap. Now this Monkey King getting rather low. I don't think they'll be able to finish him off, but the pressure is on. How well within one and two of the rotation at nighttime for the Night Stalker. Well. 15 seconds as it rolls over. There's the blast and Bellhorn in big trouble. Jingu Mastery makes it an easy pickup for Paparazzi's monkey. Uh -huh. Yeah, they still have the balance strike there, too. Full mana on Paparazzi, but just saying, look, we can't fully commit. We're not going to go. So I want you to head somewhere else. Thank you, Fenrir, but uh, on to the next one. Yep, a, a fairly predictable rotation, perhaps, but one that works and makes it 2-0. Now, Vici uh, off to a good start here. Yeah, speaking of fairly predictable, in terms of uh, the mid lane, we haven't been here. But uh, as you might oh, think, oh, it's going to be a little bland. Uh, at, least, uh, at least it's a level 6. Oh, and M, though. And some trouble trying to make it back to the tower. Looks like he'll survive it now. The turn onto Paparazzi, or is it the turn onto General? Fenrir comes back about Zeus. He, he's <laughs> alive pretty long. Yeah. Set up the kill, and General falls once more to the strike. Oh, yeah. Of Paparazzi. That makes it 3 0 now, Trent. Don't even need the help of the Nightman, so he's already way back okay. down the bottom. Radiant Coming up behind scanning. Lil, but uh, pushed way into the tower here is 11 as he just cracks into level 5. Oh, as the head. They've seen him returning, though, with that ward down there. So. And bottom, 11, in some trouble. It's a 3 on 1. The static from the Disruptor slowing him down, and that's an easy kill. TP Prevention is not there in time uh, to save him, but they go 1 for 1. Bellhorn dies in exchange. Great kill for Navi, though, slowing down that Lycan's progress towards the helmet. Yeah, and that pressure also took away the setup gank that they had ready for Denny in the mid. So, just kind of helping out all around there. Maybe fun to watch, not so fun to play against, huh? Yeah, he jumps down, though. They're still lingering nearby. He takes the Lucent Beam, looking for the Wukong's command. It will go off. He's in the tree line. Ori now making the rotation in, and they're going to try to chase down Belhor. The TP out is going to be close, but they've got to get around. Bolt sets up the kill for Paparazzi, now a killing spree. <laughs> Bit risky there. I mean, you're going into the Monkey King, who's level 6. You know the ulti's coming out. You're a one armor hero there in the Doom, so... I mean, even with just the Boundless Strike, might have went down, even without all those rotations from the Radiant Hero, so... Oh, down, down bottom, general stun by the Boundless split. Strike. Yeah. 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 Split is forced out. Always good to force that split defensively, at least for the side of Beachy Gaming. And yeah, General is just going to walk away. Uh, While up top, they do dive on the lawn. Still under the tower. Fenrir rotating in, but he gets flipped back straight away. And Lil will survive. Meanwhile, I mean, mid, though, now Ori getting chased down. Solo kill. Rotation there with the Laguna. Not finding that big early fight. Uh oh. 
Top 11, he's made the rotation, but again, this kinetic dial sets up a stun for Dendi, an easy kill Dying on the wolf. With honor. Still a very small well. net worth lead for Vici Gaming, but Na'Vi oh, showing well. that there are no slouches. Is Lil going to go down to the summons? It looks like it. The wolves will make it a one for one, so a little sign of life for 11. It's a nice trade, but still obviously favoring Na'Vi. Oh, it's 10 minutes there. Hold on on the panel. Got to get those runes. Here down. Down. Bottom. Bell Whore. Oh, that Jiggu Mastery. It is devastating. Boundless Strike helps sets it up, and that's another kill up on the board for Beachy. Holding up for the fight, the very least. Fair point. Some decent pressure on this tower. Down to about half HP. They're waiting for the uh, the Wukong's command here. There's the Wukong's command. Comes a bit from Zeus as well. Will goes down immediately. They get out of the realm of that Monkey King ultimate. The Repelled. He primal sprints down and they make it for two. They have the split now though, it just came back. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. They know Demi still has spells. Barrier. Oh, come on. They really don't commit though. I mean, 10 stick charges. There are still two heroes that could rotate. However, Lana is showing mid and 11. They should have Doom, so doesn't even have an ultimate to play with if he wanted to. That's going to be a critical strike. That's over the jelly, so no way to survive. But does yeah. have 11 to go deep. A lot of TPs out of Na'Vi. They go one for one. What can Beachy do with that space created on the map, though? He just got really punished Dyer's for diving under tower. the tower. That's a plus three attack. armor aura there. So, took a little bit longer. Maybe they thought it was going to. Yeah. And uh, helps the Doom uh, essentially guarantee you. Zeus pops the ultimate for Vision. Beachy now makes the rotation for Nice on your Cyclone there. It's crystallized with an ultimate. And Doom used on DP Lakuta. Gets brought down. Oh, it's 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 going the way of not there you are. There you are. There you are. Right right and that just needs exorcism. He's gone. Yeah, yeah. 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 There you go. Yeah. Split now for Brew. Lena connects with some extra damage. The LSA and it's three in the grave. They did, however, lose their disruptor. Again, uh, with a last summon, the bottom down gets chased down. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. It's not me all day. Yeah, you got to find this the is, obvious uh, uh, favor for Vici is now they just rotate straight to the road pit. Yeah, this is that whole idea of the Radiant side, like having this advantage. Like you're both pushing, you're controlling. They traded for the bottom tier one. They're inside the Radiant jungle, but yeah, we're inside the dire zone. No, we get, we just get rope. <laughs> Coming from Navi, but they might not make it in time. There's the ultra two. They can even use the exorcism. It does go down. He just gets picked up by Mori, and now they catch Bellhorn on the backside. They get a free kill on top. Maybe even more. Eleven in the front lines with the shape shift, looking for a catch. There's the Hal. He finds Dendi, but just leaves the summons to do the damage. Yeah, General is nowhere nearby. No chance we're going for the fight. So easy pick up there for VG Gaming. So important to get that Aegis. They would have loved to yeah. deny that. So nice early Aegis Navi. too. It's... That wins. Does mean we'll still have to wait another 100 more armor. Uh, always have some value there. Denny. Nice find from Denny. The force that has the uh, central stop. Sets up onto the Lycan. It's going to be an easy one. Straight Laguna to the face. Good side, Sleep once more. Also killed in the fray. So some extra gold for Navi. It's a big sign of life, but despite these victories for Navi around the map, Vici Gaming have been maintaining this net worth lead pretty consistently. A, yeah. lot, a lot of that coming from Tower Gold, of course, but still finding opportunity to soccer, which means that could turn any moment. There we get a pressure. Both rotation, Yule Scepter for Mori, sets up on the Doom right into a silence, and that will be a freebie. So. Maybe an objective mid now up for Beachy. They've still got the Aegis in tow. Yeah. And Eager to fight. There's going to be like a 10 second gap when it's not night. That's it. So it's nighttime for another four minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is, it's interesting how Beachy have done a really good job finding pickoffs before night, so then when the night's like timer, but... Yeah, they're under vision here, though, so it's a little bit worrisome. They're gonna start the fight. Belhor's in pretty deep. There's the old Zill gonna get locked down right away, and Doom falls shortly after. Very disastrous for Na'Vi. Not the way they wanted that fight to go, and Monkey King wasn't even there in the bottom lane. Denny comes in, connects to the Scepter, sets up. Will Monkey King die here? It could be a solo. Paparazzi gets off the stun but oh, still nice. far. Good now, back on the other side, Bruce split. We'll drop a stun onto the Necro books. The rest of Beachy starting to split their ways, at least until the Death Prophet can get here. Crystallize now getting pretty low. Both the Necro units go down. That's a nice chunk of gold for the Brewmaster. Exorcism's been used. Brewmaster coming back into Panda form pretty soon. One last stun onto Fenrir. There's the blast from the Zeus. 
And on the backside, here's the spawn. BG getting sandwiched here, and they need to get the hell out of Dodge. Night Stalker's already gone down 11, running low on options without the ultimate. He's going to be the next to be left behind, and it's Navi's that come out huge in this trade. That looked like such an insanely greedy play from Lil. So, like, not even sentry the high ground there and just walk that tree dance. Right now, just playing Mobile Ward, but he's going to walk into the Ward territory. Uh oh. That's a glimpse back, and this will probably be a freebie on the top of the box. No way to survive. Great use of the Static Storm, Kinetic Field, Disruptor. One of the few heroes to set up that kill and make it look so easy. Yeah, that's uh, not a cheap death. Absolutely massive for Navi here. Indeed. What will we do? It seems like they want to pressure down bottom and maybe force Navi no into defending their barracks, but without exorcism, without shapeshift, this really isn't that attack. scary. Now TP back for General Roche will fall. Oh, he is going to the way of their team top forming fours. And uh, that tower doesn't even take any damage, really. Still uh, 1450. Crystallize went with the bold uh, shrine TP there and it catch somebody, but and nobody Dyer, there. Navi, get away with it. And now all of a sudden they are in control of this game. 11 TP's out. Where's the TP? Oh, he got the back. Pay the way, baby. Pay the way, baby. I think he also went to that shrine up top there. They even oh, hit Dire Vision no. there. But... Well, that's uh, pretty darn unfortunate. Bellor's really into these offensive tips, you know. Old man, here the shape if we're committing. Or are they? This is the front line. Not the target you want to jump on necessarily, but he's getting pretty low. They break down Bellor straight away. Just Navi just one point ready to fight the start right there, and they grab two in the blink of an eye. General able to blink back. Dendi, phase boots on the run. But this Night Stalker is in hot pursuit. It's nighttime, baby. He's still got darkness. There's the Bruce Quinn. Defending a vision disadvantage here versus the, uh, the, the Zeus, the Night Stalker. So many, yeah, so many of these fights have just been intercepted and broken up because they have that global vision. Yeah. I mean, that happens, and then suddenly Luna's just right there for the picking. And she got destroyed yeah. with that MKB coming fresh out. Each other. Yeah. Each other out here, yeah, but there's still smoke heroes behind. War of Attrition here, 11, oh, no. has used the shapeshift. Back on whiffs. Two ultimates down, though. They, they, they're getting pincered onto the radiant side of the map here. Like, they need to try and hold this perfect high ground with the Eclipse or something. Oh, this is such an awkward rotation. I'm not sure he's actually going to catch it. Monkey King, Monkey King, Monkey King, Monkey King, Monkey King, Pop. Wukong comes out, it's Ori in the front lines. Navi are just starting to split the Eclipse. There's next to nothing, and Belfort dies still in the doom. On or off the cooldown. Now they're going to pursue on a Crystallize and Lil. Kinetic Field not really slowing them down too much, but maybe it's enough to keep them alive. Dendi now with the BKB. Shiva goes to the backside. Lil finally falls. The Boundless Strength connects on two. Crystallize trying to make it out, but beautifully done by Ori. The Laguna completely mitigated Dendi. The right are out of resources, they have to retreat. The blue split is done, and they are trying to get in position to maybe find Dyer's a kill. Nicely done by General the TP. Oh, they're on the run. Play to the high ground. But now crystallizing. He gets hit by the urn. They find him with the Nimbus, the Boundless Strike, and it's a dead Luna. On the other side, Yule Scepter sets up onto the roof. He's got the gem. He's silenced, and the right clicks will be there on top of the Spirit Simon. It was an awkward song and dance, but it is VG Gaming that come out the big time winners looking for one more on Dendi. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. We've been here. We've seen I mean, honestly, even without it, I'm pretty sure they still get this. You know, he's talking about the back of the Luna. This you're probably right, but it just makes it a lot less risky. Vici were right there. They could have made Lycans on the far side. They popped the darkness, and he's just going to run on him. Lil and Belmore were not ready for this. Luton's command comes out. Dendi in the front line. BKB. Probably not enough to save him. It's crystallized. A beautiful initiation from Vici Gaming as they catch three. This Aegis is done, and Luna will be forced to BKB in an effort to live. The TP home, no way to interrupt. She will make it out. A way to survive. A picture perfect initiation for VG. The fourth one, they do not see that coming. I mean, they, <laughs> where was the team? It, I saw two heroes on Navi. It was Aluna and Alina, and they up once again here. Oh, there's the initiation. Brewmaster caught by that newly fashioned Hexamonet Proctor. Oh, Sunfoot down the strike, but he still gets off the split. Front lines from Belhor with that BKB. 
It's not the clean initiation BT were hoping for. They're trying to make it back, but Navi, how far do they pursue? Hey, they need to be careful. Good. There's Static Storm, Kinetic Field, 11. BKB does make it back. Zooming out on Monkey King, but he survived. Wukong's command, BKB's popped on both sides. Looks like Navi want to retreat, but Ori's deep in the front lines. Will getting low. Chris blocks the ultimate. Each little pressure shard. They'll lose the Doom. This is not feeling great for Navi. They've got to go defensive. The Luna attacks, and she's down. No! Save? Makes it to the high ground. You can't believe it. Ben Rear trying to dive deep, but he's not going to get it. Dyer's now BKB used Surrender. by General. Somehow Dyer's Navi survived, only Dyer's losing their doom. Balance. But that is, is so close. Oh, Way too close God. for comfort. Yeah, almost there on the back line. Oh, nice talk with a very nice save that you'll set from Dendi. Will keep us sneaking everything this game. He just takes every rune. You know, he gets it home. Set up again the BKB used by Orca 4. He gets locked down. The Doom is actually enough though. Or he just gets popped straight away. The rest of Beach aren't quite there. It looked like a great initiation, but went in just a little too deep on his own. Now, who are they gonna grab? It's a BKB used by 11. Fenrir still kneel nearby. Beachy are just gonna delta split their way out and head back to high ground. No buyback on the death problem. Wow, I feel like that's kind of the first time we've really got that this whole game. You know what I mean? That, like, that Doom focus. Uh, we saw it once earlier on the Doom. Yeah. Yeah. The exorcism that's was true. doomed and brought down kind of just like that, but at this stage of the game, that uh, really hurts. Unfortunately for Na'Vi, it's a pretty long Roche response. Still a minute 50. That's so playing we the win! <laughs> well, here we go. There's that hex initiation again. The Disruptor will be the one to get brought down. Buyback available on Lil. And it gets used straight away. Concern at the moment here. Uh, oh, that's 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 right right now. But the initiation comes as Zeus pops the ult. The BKBs gets used, and the Wukong's command oh. also deployed. Beachy just split different ways. Doom did go up to Death Prophet. Doesn't look like they'll be able to chase her down. Will gets killed on the backside, but it's Night Stalker that gets isolated by the rest of Navi, and that is a gem down. They gotta get landed too, though. No, they can't commit, though. The Doom has ended, and Dendi. Ori going in hard. He wants to finish off this lead edge. Silenced in big trouble. Down he goes. Crystallized now. All alone. Completely isolated and dead. A one for four is just like that. Michi reclaim their footing and move into the Roshan. Excellent play by Fenrir there. He tanked that. You know, they were trying to chase down that Death Prophet desperately. They knew she was doomed up. Then he wanted to get in there with the Yule's combo to the LSA, and it was just disrupted by Fenrir. So, oh yeah, that's the death the death 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 death. Death. Fall on your sword the so your viewers can live. You get a nullifier. That's so strange. <laughs> that is indeed a rapier. My bad. You're too vanilla, my boy. Too <laughs> used to these boring <laughs> sacred relics. Come on now. If there were ever a rapier game, this feels pretty darn close to a good one. Yeah. Not in a position to go pick it up, though. Big problem. Not feeling those same pains right now. Beachy. I mean, in terms of the high ground siege, there's no question what the tools are. We're looking towards the exorcism, shape shift, but the timing, that right moment. So many times they've been at some sort of an advantage, of course. There's no high ground. But in here, they jump in? Ori gets doomed. The Lincoln's buff comes out a little bit late. They're going to lose their next buff, and it's a great start to the fight for Navi. But the buyback immediately. They've lost to this run. Looks like Danny's probably going to lose as well. No buyback available there. 11 going in deep. The Eclipse just tickles at this stage, and Navi are starting to run low on resources. 11 pushing Crystallize completely back into his own well. Not able to kill him. Great way to end that game.